Hi! <clears throat> In this two-part video series, I'd like to demonstrate how to take existing solid bodies <clears throat> and utilize those solid bodies to create a completely different part. So the scenario that I'm going to be working through is I want to be able to create one of these hose bar manifolds so that I can utilize this in various plumbing projects that I might be taking on with PEX tubing. So the target part that I want to get is a <clears throat> two inlet, six port outlet manifold with three quarter inch barbs at the inlet and outlet end and then six half inch barbs along the spine of the part. So <clears throat> If I look here on this is just Home Depot website, I can see the different dimensions for the, the product. And so I have a, at least a rough idea of the final shape. But to accomplish this goal, I, I don't have a barb model. Now I could probably go get one somewhere and utilize it, but I just want to give you a hypothetical scenario where I can s steal, quote unquote, a barb connector from another model and then utilize that with an inventor to build a new one. So my target, I was able to find one on McMaster Car. So I go to the McMaster Car website and then I'm just gonna walk my way through the hose fittings and then look for tube fittings and then I want the barb fittings and then I've actually got a fitting for drinking water. So I'll grab those and so uh, just by looking on this portion of the website here, I can see that I've got the straight connector, tube to tube. That's probably all I'm going to need. And I can see that I've got the sizes of a half and three quarter. So if you middle mouse click on both of these, which I had done ahead of time, but I'll just bring them up now. Now you can see the half inch and the three quarter inch tube. So what I'm going to do is they've already modeled this for me, which is really nice of them. Thank you, McMaster Car. I'm going to click on the drop down here, and I'm actually going to save each one as a step file. So I'll just save those. I've already maybe grabbed one of them, but we'll grab it again just to make sure. <clears throat> and so now we've copied both of those files. We're going to go ahead and download them to our specific drive. We'll grab that. And so just using the downloads here, we're able to quickly get these two new fittings, the half inch and the three quarter. So go ahead and copy those and then place them wherever you want on your network and I will rejoin shortly. Now that I've got these copied into my location, I can go ahead and open those up inside of Inventor. So I'm gonna go to my Inventor and I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm on the right project, which I am. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the file and look for the step files. So I specifically need to find step files or you can search for all files. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure these the way I want. So as of Inventor 2017, you could bring in step files as the original, like use them in an assembly with the reference model option, but I'm going to use the convert model option in this case. <clears throat> I'm going to leave everything the way it is. We'll leave it wherever it's going to place it, and I hit OK. And there comes my hose barb. So we can see we don't have much to it. It's just a solid body, as we'd expect from a step file. So we don't really have any features per se. But depending on how this was set up, they mirrored it about the origin. So that's awesome. I'm very glad of this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the split command. Actually, uh, no, I want to capture the whole barb here. Let's grab the whole thing just in case. It gives us a little bit more surface to work with. So what I'm going to do is I am... Let's see, going to offset from this plane. I'm going to go this direction. Oops. And let's see, let's measure that. So we'll use the measure option. Let's 
giving me some trouble there. So let's do this. We'll do it a different way this time. Let's do it with <clears throat> center point of a loop of edges. Grab that point. And then I'll do parallel to plane through the work point. There. So that's another way. A lot of different ways to make a plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and split that. And I'm going to actually trim the solid using my plane as the split tool. And we hit OK. And so now what we've done is we've got the half inch hose barb. So I'm just going to measure that just to make sure. Yep, that should be the half inch version. Awesome. One more measurement just to make sure I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, we should be good there. So now that we've got this hose barb set up, I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And then I would do the same thing for the three quarter as well. So basically go ahead and do that for the three quarter one. And then in the next video, I'm going to show how we can utilize these hose barbs to actually build up the solid part.